for dad on his 90th, nine elements and nine qualities. So at the risk of publicly embarrassing myself by being the sap that I am, this toast is about objects and experiences that for me, and I think for all of us, or a lot of us, make me think of you, Dad, your qualities, your beliefs, the things you love, and the whys of who you are and how you've become. So with some help from my husband, here we go. Number one, trees and complexity. So here we're lying down and looking up at trees, watching the patterns of light and color of object and sky. Like Dad, we love the magic of the forest and its complex majesty of nature and transcendence, intimacy, intricacy, and even exercise. Well, a gentle walk, anyway. Number two, mountains and inspiration. And this mountain, Mount Marcy, I'm sure a bunch of you have already figured out, if you can see clearly, that lured the teenage David from Brooklyn. All those hokey analogies about mountains, well, they're kind of true. They and you, Dad, inspire us to ambition. Number three, cities and society. Starting here, New York and Brooklyn beyond the, across the East River, well, Manhattan and Brooklyn beyond, in the 1920s and 30s, Dad learned the world is set in nature but full of people. Cities represent what we can build, that society is what we make of it, that we need to find our place and our thing to do. When I'm in the city, I think of the young dad wandering that very different and same city and thinking about putting his mark on it. Number four, maps and discovery. And here, the Margaretville Quadrangle, um, as it says from 1907, reprinted 1947. I look at maps and I think about dad, I think about Alfred, I think about all of us pouring over the maps in that funny little file cabinet on Lark Street exploring the topography of known and unknown landscapes. I look at maps and get this instant wanderlust, that desire to see it and walk it and experience it. Five, cars and driving fast. So some of you may not believe this, uh, but in his youth and his middle age, Dad was a bit of a, well, a speedy McGreedy. He, uh, and yes, driving even this humongous gas guzzler, this one was a 1970 or so Chrysler Town & Country, which was the carpool car at the time. Uh, my only regret is that it wasn't still around when I was 16 and learned to drive. I think that Dad drove so fast because there's so much to do. And I think I've used that excuse myself sometimes. Number six, oceans and the power of words. The best part of the beach is the lull and the beat of the, the lull and the cadence. It's very vocal and can be about rhythm and timing, which are the qualities good writing or masters of good writing bring alive with content and form. Dad is a man of and a true believer in and makes us all about the power of the written and spoken word. Seven, the pond and midnight swims. Another place of water, and sometimes barely warmer than the ocean, the pond at the farm. This makes me think of and celebrate Dad because sometimes the perfect moment for midnight skinny dip comes along and you just have to grab it. Courts and justice. This poor photo is my favorite I've ever taken. Dad on the steps, on the steps of the Supreme Court on a Saturday in November 1971 about a minute before he was sworn by the media and Mom and Alfred and Walter and I were left over on the sidelines. This goes without saying, Dad, you embody putting beliefs into action. And lastly, Tootsie Rolls, a reminder that sometimes the best things are those that are just a little sweet. Happy birthday, Dad. Happy birthday, David. We love you.